Uh, hello, I'm coming to you a little bit later. I've woken up uh, about two and a half, three hours ago, so I've kind of had a little bit of a chance to kind of reflect on my surroundings, and I've had a couple of glasses of water, and uh, um, yeah, and I had a back pill, so hopefully that'll start kicking in pretty soon. Anyway, um, I wanted there's this there's this thing that's just been entering my head the last uh, few days. It's a discussion that I wanted to discuss. It's a subject. It's a subject of, of discussion, and I think that it would be a good thing to start this this uh, this uh, conversation. Is uh, and the conversation is 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 art dead, or is it dying? Is art not not all art, but what is considered art? The definition of art. The the need for everybody to just express themselves to be an individual, and I'm all for that. That's great. But what? How do you? What? Where's the threshold that, that is that is actual art? Like where where does it cross the line? Like are are people that use Snapchat filters are they artists? Um, how do you define an artist? Is it anybody who just does self-expression in any way, shape, or form? Is it certain medias? Is it is it a painter, a drawer? Is it a musician? Is it a photographer, a filmmaker? I mean, um, and so is is art is art dead or is it dying? And I mean, there's still def definitive, real, pure artists, depending on how you define that in the world. People that um, just just grab that are immensely creative and just grab the world and, and grab their, 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 uh, their, uh, they, they just have a very, very clear context of what they're trying to say and is just unbelievably, uh, you know, talent. Um, it just seems to me that, that, uh, art is becoming less physical. By less physical, I mean you don't, you don't actually go out and physically do the art. You just, you kind of, it's just you you do you're an artist from your from your cell phone you just you're on your cell phone and you're like i'm an artist on the cell phone and this goes to to all kinds of forms of self expression if you look at uh you know youtube and and people that are that are doing good on on youtube or or soundcloud which is music based you know there's so many the internet has made it so you you have an idea uh, a vision and you can share it with the entire world and if the world like if it catches on if it if it goes viral or whatever the next thing you know you're you're getting paychecks you know you're you've you've gotten out of, of washing dishes and you're now you know making 30 grand a month on doing YouTube videos for example um, but where where I question is art dead is it's just, and again, I'm art is subjective. I'm in no way judging anybody, but just YouTube. Let's just talk about YouTube because I have a couple of YouTube channels, and it's kind of been for me a great forum of of self expression as far as making some abstract films and doing just kind of my own little vision. Now I just put them up there. I don't I don't need them to to go viral. I'd love it if they did. I don't I don't need to. You know, I, I have been waiting by the mail. I've got AdSense all set up. I've been waiting by the mailbox. I haven't gotten a check from Google yet. But again, it's just, it's my form of self-expression. If it's, if it's art, if it's not, it's just something I feel like I have to do. Um, but there's a lot of people that, that are very successful on YouTube. And I look at that content and I'm, again, art is subjective and I'm not judging anybody. But it's obnoxious. The whole vlog, the whole idea of of just kind of filming your day and chopping it up and, and just giving it to the world and having that go viral and having you get, you know, millions of subscribers. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, what a great thing, you know. I, but I, I just, I don't know. Are people attention whores is what I'm getting at, I guess. Um, because to me, I just, that's not... I guess it's self-expression, but like, is that is that art? Is that should you not have to to wash dishes or to do the nine to five grind? Should you should you get a free pass? I, you know, because the whole idea of a starving artist is like, well, if you're 
doing that on YouTube and you're not getting $30,000 a month from Google, then, you know, does that make you more of an artist? Like, I just feel like art um, is, is born from struggle. I think that, that struggle breeds art. Um, <clears throat> like a person that has just grown up with a silver spoon in their hand and has never really had a challenge in life and has never, you know, had to work in the dish pit or, or you know, answer phones or, or do whatever, you know. Does that person, does that person, can they be an artist? Because I'm sure absolutely they can. But I honestly think the best artists, the, the, the best art, I guess, the best expression comes from struggle. I really do believe that. Not that I'm saying that you don't have a reference in your head if you've never had a challenge, if you've never literally never had a job, never had to think about money. Like if you've never had to think about money or struggle or anything like that, can you, can you somehow funnel that into a creative ambition that, that, that is, that is, that really takes, I guess, uh, that, 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 that is really expressive, that, that people can relate with and think is, is a great form of expression or art, I guess. Maybe, maybe I'm wording it all wrong, but, but I honestly think that, that, that it's kind of like everybody's an artist. Everybody's an artist. No, not everybody's an artist. There's good art and bad art, and again, it's subjective. And so who am I to say what's good and bad? But I just feel like people really had to chase after it physically. People really had to starve to become artists. They really had to, you know, pour themselves into their craft. And, um, and I'm not saying that, 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 that people aren't pouring their self into the craft. Um, and maybe, maybe I'm an artist with, with some envy, like a little chip on my shoulder of, of envy or something. But I just, I see a lot of artists today that are just, I just, in the back of my head, and again, I'm not judging, I just like, what, what the fuck? Seriously? Seriously? This is, this is, seriously, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to work, you don't have to fucking grind it out, and this, this is your art, and this is just, it's bullshit. I mean, it's just, it's not art. It's fucking junk. It's fucking, it's, it's blowny. It's fucking like a blowny. It's like, it's like you chopped up a bunch of fucking pig asses and condensed it into a little slab of meat and just dished it out there. And it's like, here's my art, you know? You didn't even have to move a finger. Sorry. I don't mean to, you know, suggest that arpeggiators or anything. It's not that, it's not that. It's not the arpeggiator's fault. It's not the, it's not the, the Snapchat filters. It's not the, the Lux. It's not the non-linear. It's not, I mean, it's just, basically you have in your, in your pocket a, a phone. It's like a cell phone and it's so powerful and you can just create art on it and just, it's just, the art is too accessible almost. It's too accessible. And um, I just, I miss art being the voice of the struggle, kind of, I guess. Um, but yeah, for all of us, like I say, we're all artists, artists subjective. I'm in no way uh, criticizing anyone in particular. I'm in, a, I'm in no way saying myself that I'm, I'm, a, I'm an artist or a great artist or consider myself an artist. I just... I uh, I have to create. If I don't create, I get depressed, and it's it's bad news. So I, I have to. I have a drive. I have to create. I don't have a fucking choice in it. I just don't. Maybe I'm mentally ill or something. Anyway, this is a good chat today. Um, is art dead? You know, leave a comment below. Tell me what you tell me what you think. I mean, is is art really? Is art really that good anymore? I mean, there's definitely good art out there, but in general, are, are people just giving hands out, like handouts as far as like like creative just handouts? I mean, is there is there no sense of actually having to earn anything anymore? Like having to, to earn your place? Having to, you know, really scrub the shit out of some dishes until you actually, you know, have a couple physical shows in a physical gallery or or, you know, a physical song that actually physically has chord structure or melodies and 
physically says something and it isn't physically like a fucking seizure, you know? I mean, does that, is that where we're at? I mean, are, is everybody just putting their, their vocals through auto-tune and, and pitching it up and just, and just banging into it with it? With the dubstep? I mean, is that is that expression now? I don't know if that's expression. You know? But I just... Again, it's probably a generational thing. I just... I, I miss good art. I miss good, good art, you know? Anyway, leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to have more conversations. Is art dead? Where's it at, in your opinion? Give a thumbs up, a thumbs down, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. See you guys next week.